to Europa Park on the first day of their 2022 season. Oh! But Dave, you assure us you won't get wet. No, you won't. Eh? Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. So today I'm at a very, very exciting theme park. That's right, we've made our way over to Germany to Europa Park on the first day of their 2022 season. The voice you might be able to hear in the background is actually Roland Mack, of course, from the Mack family. He is uh, currently doing a little welcoming speech up on the uh, main plaza. But today, we're joined by the boys. They've made their way over to Germany. We've got Archie Deves. Yeah, the main character. We've got Kieran, and we've got Arch Nemesis. Target, everybody. There we go, Welcome. crack it up with German. Very, very excited for today, though. Myself, Deves, and Archie have actually been at Europa Park before, all on kind of varying visits. Um, Archie was literally here for like a day. You did a little trip with your family. Oh, yeah, what day are you? Myself and Karen came here many, many years ago on like one of my first ever YouTube videos I filmed at Europa Park. Um, but Kieran has never been here, so we're going to be getting all of his reactions to the rides for the first time. We've got rides like uh, Silver Star here today, Blue Fire, Woden. It's going to be a good one. Very, very excited. Back over there. Yeah, and it is literally the first day of the season. There he is. We've got Euro Mouse. Oh, yes. That's story though, where's. <laughs> So last night we headed to Rilantica, the brand new water park here, and it was incredible. Like we were all so, so impressed. But yeah, today is our first theme park day, and I'm so excited. This is genuinely one of my favorite theme parks in the world. So I cannot wait to get into your own park on the 13 roller coasters that are here and just have a brilliant day in the sunshine. Once Roland Max finished talking, we'll head into the park, but it seems like a lot of atmosphere and buzz here today. It's like the Fort Park opening for us in the UK. But to see here in Germany, like you've got all the enthusiasts out. Oh yeah, it's all very grand. Wow, I'll tell you what, these European parks really know how to do an opening ceremony. For years now, I've watched vlogs at like Liseberg um, and other European parks where they literally go all out as you come into the park, but I've never actually experienced it. And today was just incredible. You had the family, of course, that run the park, the Mac family, who are kind of doing a speech and welcoming everyone. Then you had the red carpet and all the staff waving flags. I think that's like the best entrance to a vlog so I've ever cool. had. It was magical. Absolutely brilliant. And we've headed over for our first ride of the day on the Can Can Coaster, which technically, I believe, is a new cred for myself. You got retracked, right? Because the entire ride went for a big re-theme and a retrack. I rode Eurosat back in the day, but never Can Can Coaster. So let's head into the Moulin Rouge and check it out. Let's go. You excited? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's not the Can Can, is it? So, first ride of the trip ticked off there with the Can Can Coaster. And I am absolutely amazed at how good that was. Genuinely, as I said before, previously that was Eurosat, and it was like my least favorite ride here. The theming wasn't amazing, the ride itself was very clunky, and it just didn't, it didn't ride great, but that was incredible. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Can Can Coaster doesn't do it justice because yeah. I've just been whipped around France for like five minutes. It was amazing. It was like rock and roller coaster in, in Paris. Like you were like going yeah. racing through Paris. Through streets. Paris. I know Deves is the biggest fan of Space Mountain and I'm he was saying like, playing. oh, it's, it's so good. That's better than Space. Yeah. 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 Space. You, you are the biggest fan yeah, of like Space Mountain. Yeah, yeah. Like, but generally, oh, yeah, oh, that, that's not like, I forgot how good that was. That was insane. I'm not going to say it, it was a special idea. It was really good. Like, yeah, Silver yeah. Star's playing with the airtime. 
For a, for a whole the ride idea. package, that is incredible. It's literally in like uh, the ball that's at Epcot. Wow, yeah, really, so really cool. impressive that one. That's and our great. next ride is a uh, Schweizer Baban, I think this no, one's called. Home Blitz, oh, Matt Home, Home Blitz. Blitz. Apologies. Roll. Roll. Apologies. So yeah, we're going to be going around on this beautiful Mac coaster with a vertical lift. I don't know if Kieran knows about this lift, so um, it might be a little surprise. Let's get our masks on. Still a little bit strict on it over here in Germany, so we need to uh, keep reminding ourselves to pop our masks on. But yeah, very, very excited for this one. Our second ride of the day. So we just had a lovely ride there on Matterhorn Blitz, as I was saying just before we got on the uh, lift, very much took these boys by surprise. Wait, did you know what it was Yeah, happening? yeah. I had no idea what was going on. I said, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing their reactions. He just started going on a To be fair, even I forgot there, like, the lift literally tilts as you go up. But yeah, really enjoyed that ride. Um, beautiful layout, but now it's time to stop messing around. We're heading onto Silver Star, which is this massive Mon b and Hypercoaster. You can see off in the distance over there. Now, the interesting thing about Silver Star is that it is 73 meters tall, which is one meter taller than the rumored Fort Park new coaster, obviously Project Exodus. So it's almost like a business trip for us. Like we're, we're, trip, we're yeah. checking we're, it out. We're just counting it out. Fort Park. <laughs> so yeah, the height of this is literally what we could be getting at Fort Park, which is so exciting. But yeah, this was actually the first ever hyper coaster that I rode uh, many, many years back. And I'm very, very excited for it. And this is of course a big ride for Kieran. It's a milestone for him. Oh, yeah, 200. This is 200 for roller coaster. Uh, it's a weird thing to care about, but yeah. I'm which gassed, is, I'm gassed. Which is sick. So yeah, this is uh, sponsored by Mercedes actually. So we've got a very Mercedes uh, centric Q line. But yeah, very, very excited to head on this one. One of the tallest roller coasters in Europe. I love a good hyper coaster. Oh boy, it's time for Silver Star. Wow, so we've just come off of Silver Star, one of Europe's tallest roller coasters. Oh my god, it's been a while since I've been that high on a roller coaster, and boy oh boy, I don't think I'll ever get over that, that fear of just being so exposed at such a height and just plummeting it down to the ground. It, nothing will compare to it. Wow. Great to get back on that though, wasn't Stunning. it? Stunning. Honestly, being at the top and thinking, wow, this is really tall, you can see for miles, and then thinking, <laughs> we could be doing this in a few years' time at a near vertical angle with a lap bar. <laughs> Literally, we pulled into the brakes and think it's just like, that could be an old town soon. <laughs> like this, I can't even comprehend oh, it's that. It's crazy. Like, it's literally old town. Let's still be honest, it's, it's the most boring part of the park, <laughs> apart from Friday nights. So imagine. And it's going to have a monster. There's just going to be a monster. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous to me. And also, now we're doing the bobsled. Schweizer Baban. This doesn't even have an entrance. I swear down. It took me and my dad. It took me and my dad like 20 minutes to find the entrance to this ride. Like the first time we came. Like, it's literally you got to climb over got, a got river. Climb, yeah. And then like. There's just a sign literally smaller than my head. Like. So yeah, we're now heading onto the bobsleigh ride, which kind of takes up a, a pretty big area here. So yeah, obviously it hasn't got an actual track. You literally do just go down in, in the bobsleigh. But yeah, Silver Star has just got me so excited for Project Exodus. So I was at the top thinking, there's no way this ride, if it gets built that is, can't be the best ride in the UK. Yeah, honestly, so, so sick. And now we're heading. The Schweizer of a barn. I don't know if we'll all be crammed into one car, like sitting all together. If we we'll manage uh, to get our own I cars, get, I want to get. We're going to do a leap. I wonder if Luke makes <laughs> one on this one. It's always a bit of musical chairs to see who actually manages to get <laughs> who on. gets on. So 
So I'll tell you what, the queues are insane here at Europe. Well, as you can see, like it's dead seemingly, even though it was really well, busy this morning at the plaza. Yeah. If you want to do the best ride, can't go. So yeah. you're doing, you're doing. But no, we've done really well. It's coming up to about half ten now, so the bike's been open an hour and a half. And we've been on five rides. This ride here, Poseidon, will be our sixth ride. That now, have you spoke about the last ride? I haven't. I haven't said a Best word on it. so far. So we just did Pegasus, which Bellissimo. is like a junior coaster. Pegasus. Walk on, and we did two laps on it, and it was incredible. We like stayed on, like, yeah. so good. Really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, now we're heading on to Poseidon, which is a water coaster, but Deeds assures us that you don't get wet on this one. Look at this spot now, we're all in shorts. We're all in shorts. It's a it's bit chilly. It's going to get warm, but yeah. it's cold now. But Deeves, you assure us you won't get wet. No, you won't. That's a bit of a protection map. Protection map in. But yeah, who are we riding this one for, Deeves? We're riding this for my lovely friend, Finley McKee, <laughs> um, who went to work in Greece, apparently. <laughs> this one's for our good friend, yeah. Finn. Come yeah. on. We got Finn. Right, let's head onto Poseidon. Fingers crossed, we don't get wet. If we do, if we do, the three of us will be having strong words with Mr. Archie Dees. Yeah, I'll beat you all up. <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah, in the sun, you can see it better in the sun. Oh, wet you all. Yeah, no, Dees was right, to be fair, you don't actually get that wet. <laughs> That was I mean, fine. Bone dry, mate. Bone dry. I mean, us three came off of that quite well, to be honest. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got a spray, I'd say. Yeah. Refreshing. It was refreshing. Yeah, Nem, however. You could actually, like, bring his jumper out. I generally, I pray for his downfall. <laughs> no, no, no. You are wet. Like, he is wet. Yeah, I wouldn't say on that level that. Try and squeeze your jumper like that sleeve. I Bro, think, I think it's, it's kind of drank it all It is wet. <laughs> it's gross. But it's bizarre because you were sat right behind Deves, who, who got That's off all right. I think I got the worst out of us three, but... Yeah. And then you were sat next to me, like, I don't... Your seat was just curd. It's the wrap of Finn. I don't know what happened. I'm, it's see, definitely see Finn's, right Finn's curse. <laughs> like, I got very wet. <laughs> But yeah, it just is a gorgeous ride off ride. On ride, it doesn't ride amazingly. It's a little bit um, rough and rickety. But yeah, off ride, it's gotta be one of the most beautiful rides in all of Europe. Like, look at the color of the water. Like, it's so sick. And with the monorail, honestly, this whole park is just so picturesque. And this Greece area is definitely one of my favorites. So for those of you that watched my uh, Alton Towers opening day vlog, you'll know we've got uh, a new friend, Ben. Two here, we've got his brother Bon. <laughs> bon. The German, German brother. Ben. Bon. Bon. It's spelled B O N N. We've got the squiggly. Bon. Bon. My dad's been moving this, the one we, like I took home, around the house everywhere and pranking me. He's taking it to one more extreme. He put it in. He flew it out to Germany. <laughs> oh, dude. Yo. Drop. Here we go. A big green track, a big green track is played by Mac. Yes, Roland Mac. It is a big green track. The track is proof, but we sing green. Oh, it's not actually green. Oh yes, big what an green. iconic song. had a ride on Euromir there. I'll talk about that shortly because right now there's something a lot more interesting us, going on. We've got some geese <laughs> walking around the... Oh my god. Listen, I believe this woman is controlling <laughs> This is like the Pied Piper of geese. <laughs> this is terrifying. So yeah, this lady pretty much just walks these geese around Europa Park. It's like a thing here. Oh my god, he, he, went, he, went, for for he went for her. He went for her. He's had enough, he's oh. rebelling. So yeah, this is why I just love European parks. It's just so much random stuff. But it's obviously all part of like the, the history of the park and the culture. Oh, they're scrapping. Yo. Yo. That guy just stepped in his Brian drinking bowl. <laughs> Are they real? <laughs> not enough, Shut not enough. Up. 
Yeah, the old boys are now. I'm right. Bitching, bitching. That is crazy. Imagine them just walking around Fort Park. Like, <laughs> you just wouldn't get that. Um, yeah, we just had a ride on Euromir. It's a really unique ride. You're basically taken to the top of these towers. And you go around the top of the towers and then there's a little um, coaster section where you're supposed to spin. We didn't spin at all, did we? Well, I mean, it's, it's crap. It's not a great ride. It's not good at all. It's I mean, tear it down. Yeah, yeah, I have to say, it's probably my least favourite ride here at the park. It looks amazing off-riding. It is really unique. It just doesn't r ride great. Um, and yeah, as Steve said, they're literally due to be building a new ride next year, um, just next door to it. So yeah, exciting future for the park. I'm yeah. sure we'll be back. Hopefully the future hasn't got this ride yeah, in it. Yeah, I do agree. It's not great. Not great at all. Well, I think Furious Paco is smooth. I think it looks great. It looks amazing off-ride. Yeah. And That's it's got an amazing like, soundtrack. That's what I was going to say. One of the best Paco. soundtracks on the planet. Yeah. Like, iconic for reasons beyond its means. Yeah. Incredible like yeah. backstory to this ride, but really, I mean, it's got the towels, the ride, the ride, the ride, <laughs> legit, the ride itself, not the best. Oh, Julius! Oh, Julius! <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Oh, that was so That's scary. <laughs> I'm back to them. Yeah. <laughs> So we've just come off our first non-coaster of the day, Pirates in Batavia, and yeah, really, really like that one. So I actually got to ride that before it unfortunately like had a big fire and the whole building like burned down. Um, which then led to them kind of redoing the entire ride. Um, when I rode it previously, it was very, very similar to um, the Pirates of the Caribbean rides, um, obviously at the Disney parks. However, that was a level up on Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, just the level of detail and theming and effects that they used in there was incredible. And yeah, really, really enjoyed that. One of the best um, like boat rides oh, I've ever done. Personally, I think it was like symbolical as a boat ride. Yeah, yeah. Like mag just magical. Like just the, the level of controls. detail and yeah, now, really good. Now, Wait, I'm what? gassed. For what? We're going to be storage ride, mate. Are we? Story? Okay, so we're heading into another dark ride now. I haven't done this one. This is based on like the, the mascot of um, Rulantica. Just ironic. And we oh. fell in love with like him, didn't we? Yeah, I'm in love with him, generally. <laughs> they built this ride to promote Rulantica, but it opened after Rulantica. Oh, really? Yeah, well, there you go. I, I, I don't even know what, um, what ride system this is or anything. But Deez is very excited. It's a trackless. Nice. Oh, I'm it's very a, excited. I think it's a track for start Deez is Teddy. He's got a Teddy. Oh. There you go. Oh, there he is. Bro, bro. In the That's window. Also, big up. Your pocket. It's nice. They have drinks for Isaac everywhere. <laughs> you could have free water all day. Unfortunately, Isaac's though. <laughs> but yeah, after riding um, Pirates in Batavia, it just makes me like wish we had more boat rides in the UK. Obviously, we've got like the Alton Towers Dungeons boat ride. Any other boat rides in the UK? Like indoor? Uh, yeah. That's the, the only one. The like Blackpool, Gruffalo. Valhalla, I guess you've Bahala got um, River, River Caves. Caves. Yeah, true. Which are very historic, but there's nothing like on that level where it's like River. insane theming. I'd say River Caves is probably the closest. But yeah, here we go. On to our second like dark ride of the day. What's it called? Snorri's... Snorri's... Snorri's Torren. Let's head on. Oh, I can't wait to see this oh, One of those like dumb purchases, isn't it? But you feel it yourself, a he, snorri. He's coming around the park with us. He's coming around the park. Um, so we're taking him on all the attractions here today. Uh, yeah. May I just say, today is day one. It's currently uh, about 10 to 12. Yeah. So it's midday, which means he really is coming around with us all day now. I want, that's what I wanted. My squirt's water. Is he actually it. squirt? Yeah, he's a little bath toy. 
Once we've now made our way down to the other end of the park where we're heading for a ride on a Blue Fire Mega Coaster. I remember coming to Europa Park for the first time and this was the one ride that I was so, so excited to ride. It's quite a, an iconic ride. And yeah, it's got an awesome queue line. Clamshell restraints as well. The jeans are going to be going upside down. Look at that. With just a lap bar. today. Yeah, it is. See Kieran's first reaction. I'm guessing you've done this one. I have. I yeah. love this ride. So we've just come off of a Blue Fire Mega Coaster. We've actually headed straight over to Woden, the park's wedding coaster, now with Blue Fire. I remember the first time I ever rode that. I was going in with such high expectations because I'd never really done anything like that before. The first time I rode it, I was just expecting the world from it. And it slightly under delivered. And I was a little bit it. underwhelmed. No, I'm um, Blue Fire. Uh -huh. First time I rode it. However, now, since we've kind of traveled the world and been on loads of other roller coasters, including rides um, similar to that one, like Helix and Icon, I've now got a newfound love for Blue Fire. I'm able to appreciate it a lot more. And I think both of us would agree. Yeah, because Helix is bad. <laughs> We prefer it to Helix, prefer it to Icon now. Um, so yeah, now that I've kind of managed my expectations for that ride, I, I appreciate it a lot more. Now I'm interested to see if I'll share that same opinion on Woden now. No, we think the command's going to be better still. The first time thing. I rode it, I wasn't that impressed. And I, I do currently prefer Wicker Man. But we'll see, I guess, because it's been many years since I've ridden it. So yeah, we'll see. It's got a gorgeous queue, a long queue, may I say. And this is one of the only queue lines I know of where you can go to the toilet mid-queue. Oh, Look I've at that. This. I actually did it. Yeah. Uh, there you go. When so I came out of the toilet, my parents were already in the station. <laughs> so if it's got a long... Toilet? Yeah. Mid-queue mid toilet right there. So we just had a ride on Woden. The reviews are in and I have to say, I'm now a much bigger fan of that ride than I was previously. That easily sits above Wicker Man for me now as my favorite GCI. Do you agree? Bloody really fantastic. good. Like it throws you around that layout. Deeves, I don't think was persuaded by uh, the, the it's a lot thrill of Woden. I agree with Jack on it. It was better than a horse on it. Yeah. I, think I appreciate it. But, but Wicker Man or Woden? Wicker Man. Just because I like, I think I like the feed better, it's enjoying, like I've just emotionally connected to that thing more. Yeah. But why has Anne Hathaway got a sweet shot? <laughs> Kieran's first time with it. I thought it was sick. Uh, very good. Very right. comparable to Troy, I think, and uh, yeah, that's probably my, that, I think it's better than Wicked Man, but yeah, I want to go right. on it again. Free eyes But now we've made our way Boys. into the english area so this is of course the english area we are reckon the whole ain't got country. a single coast of it's the best area in the world oh yes but there is like a, an indoor football arena um, with dodgems with an actual ball in so we're gonna play a game of rocket league later on this looks the same oh the red lion oh, so the red so lion english thing ever. we feel like i'm just walking the streets back in our hometown i've never seen anywhere that looks like this <laughs> we've got the red lion <laughs> fish and chips yeah it does actually smell well good and we've got Anne Hathaway's sweet kitchen over there. And I think Paddington Station, boys. Yeah, and I think we got like a diamond game thing, which we might, if it's got a low key, I'm down to do it on the way. Go on, Dees. Good Best luck. Don't hit the trip wires. <laughs> oh, you're done. Zero falls, right. Here I go. Wish me luck. Oh boy. Yo, it's scared. Okay, there's oh I'm crawling. I'm crawling. Oh did I get it? You got zero mate. You got two? I got two, I know it. I think it was my bank that did me dirty. You can see the uh Kieran. 
Zero points so far. I went under all of them. Yeah. <laughs> That was sick. I took ages. That was terrified in there. Did you yeah. just like glitch through the map? I was jumping, I was like, Fair play. All right, let's head out into Paddington Station. Here we are. Feel like I'm back in London. And yeah, it's now time to go and grab some food. Oh yeah, it's a scare taxi. So after a little bit of lunch there, we then headed onto Voletarium as it was strongly recommended to us by Mr. Archie Deeds himself. Hold on, whilst we're on this topic. And the second letdown of the day from Archie Deeves himself <laughs> in terms of what is a brilliant slash not wet ride. <laughs> it wasn't great. Well, <laughs> Voletarium. It wasn't as good as when I first done it. No. It Obviously we've recently had a flying theatre open just down the road from us, so Legoland Windsor. Uh, Mythica and it's incredible so whether if that's kind of changed my opinions on flying theatres and stuff obviously one of my favorite rides in the world Flight of Passage is a flying theatre so yeah Volitarium just didn't really do it for me it's rubbish it wasn't ideal but we are now heading into a fantastic area at the park me and my mum absolutely loved this ride and we came. The milk, the milk. Yeah, it is. Oh, 2016. Arthur, <laughs> Arthur, which won the 2016 World's Best Ride. Wow. So yeah, really, really excited for this one. We have to um, put our bags in the lockers um, before you even head into the queue for this one. But yeah, I just love this whole area and ride. It's awesome. Even though I was excited for Arthur, I forgot just how good that ride was. It's such a fun family ride with so many different elements that all come together to just make it such a laugh. Like, it's a good length, it's got outdoor sections, there's some funny moments in there. Yeah, it was brilliant. Kieran, it was your first time doing it. What do you it think? It was so sick. Very I was expecting it to not have as much as it did have. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was. There was one scene, so <laughs> sick. There's literally a scene where you get like a little preview of it because uh, in the film, it's based off of um, a film called Arthur and the Minimoys and there's a scene called uh, Paradise Alley which it plays on the screen and then you, the, the whole seats turn and you're actually in Paradise Alley. There's cars, oh it's brilliant, and neon lights. Yeah, it's very nice. And then we headed over to Alpen Express because not only did Kieran celebrate a milestone today, yeah, I'm also celebrating a milestone. Well, it's hey. too far, not quite as uh... no, not quite as uh, <laughs> beautiful as Kieran's ride on Silver Star. I took the Alpine Express for my 200th cred today. The reason for that was because you didn't even notice until a no, few no, hours ago, right? No. So, well, at least you've hit it. Yeah, <laughs> we don't even hit know it, what we're on. Really no, me, do, me yeah. and Archie are in the process today of finally finding out what number we're actually on because I personally have never even counted mine. And Deeves has been a bit, bit lacking in it, yeah, so. I, mean, well, but I think by the end of the day, we should know um, how many creds are on. Might have hit it already, don't know. But yeah, we're now um, in the pursuit for either ice cream, and then we'll at some point be going on Atlantica Super Splash as well. So yes, very excited for that. It's, it's warmer now, so we're a bit more willing to do the water rides. Once again, 
didn't go too well, did it, Nam? It's dripping wet, mate. Yeah. <laughs> You're well, going to be waterboarded when you put it on. Job one, Mr. Jack Silkstone. Um, nudged me <laughs> as far right as possible so I could get as wet as possible. Yeah, it's nice to get on that right. It's got a great drop and like a, a mid, like backwards drop. And me and Kieran sat in the middle. We, we got off all right. It was a nice kind of, um, yeah, refreshing awesome. spray. That's it, 13 rides 13 done. 13 rides yeah. done. We're now just leisurely doing, getting yeah, ice we've, cream, I believe. We've literally got the rest of the day and another day to re-ride, chill, eat. Ice cream. Yeah. What's been your favourite, though? Uh, from uh, We've had one ride on everything. Uh, in regards to the coast, it's probably Wodan. Wodan. Nice, nice. Um, what about you? I'm going to be boring and say the exact same thing. It was really like, yeah. um, it blew me away today. Yeah, it was very good. These? Can Ghost is the best can, for me. Yeah, Can Can Ghost was good I for me. I'm going to say um, Silver Star, just because the really drop good. on that is insane. But yeah, we're just going to do some re-rides, get some food, and uh, yeah, just just enjoy our well, time here at Europa Park. Nam's going to be drying off <laughs> yeah. for another three days. <laughs> Luckily, it's nice and warm. And that's, that's not because of water, it's just wet in oh. general. Just had some re-rides on Blue Fire and Woden. Woden, we did right on the back row, and oh my god, it was even better than our first one. What an incredible coast that is. I have well and truly completely changed my mind on Woden. I now really, really like it. But yeah, I'm just stood here currently in the Greek area overlooking the site of what will be the park's next roller coaster. It's due to be um, a Mac style infinity coaster, um, very similar to Lost Gravity over at Wallaby Holland, which I was lucky enough to do a few years back now. And yeah, I really like that ride. It was one of my favorite rides at Wallaby Holland. And yeah, it's a, it's a nice and big area. And I'm sure with Europa Park, of course, being run by the Mac family, they will go as big as possible with that ride. Um, probably making it even bigger and better than uh, Lost Gravity. But yeah, this is the site where it's going to be. And it will, of course, be the park's 14th toaster. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, very exciting. I'm sure we'll be heading back to come and ride it when it opens. This view will be changing a lot over the next year. So we're ending our day where, of course, Roland Mack started his day by opening up Europa Park for the year. But yeah, that does bring us to the end of our first day here at Europa. Of course, we're going somewhere very funny tomorrow. It's uh, a place called Funny World where you're operating all of the rides yourselves and it's gonna be a right laugh. I'm don't, looking don't forward to it. it it's gonna be a mad one. And yeah, then we're back here again on a Monday. But our first day has been very successful. We've been on all of the rides. We got on um, Silver Star and Can Can Coaster again at the end of the day. Um, we sat second row from the front on Silver Star and the view was just incredible. We had sunset and yeah, the forces were beautiful as always. But yeah, it's been a brilliant day. What's been your hunger like, Deves? I can't even count the Can Can Coaster. I've like fallen back in love with that team. It's, it's been really good. It's Two awesome. rides as well. I think we'll be heading back to it on Monday pretty early as well. Boys, had a good day? It's been incredible, it's been magical. It has, it's been gorgeous. Oh, my highlights are uh, Wodan and uh, the alley, I don't know what it's called, in Arthur. Paradise, Paradise Alley. Paradise Alley. Yeah, it's very I good. I know it can, can go to a sick We'll be visiting that again on uh, yeah, Monday. Yeah, we'll yeah. <laughs> it's been a sick day. Uh, I think my favourite bit has definitely got to be the very end of Can Can Coaster. Obviously, <laughs> the back row was a really good ride. Yeah, it was special. It was special. The views, oh, if you oh, look oh, back, are amazing. I wholeheartedly agree with this man. That's the views on hear. that coaster are beautiful. You see whole France. Um, so, yeah, thank you all very much for uh, watching. As I said, check out um, this Funny World vlog that's coming soon because it's going to be brilliant. But yeah, that's it all from our trip to Europa. What a fantastic theme park. It really is on another level. Definitely one of the best theme parks in Europe. So if you haven't been out here, then uh, definitely try. Maybe even wait um, about 12 months or so because as I said, they're due to be getting a new coaster, which is very exciting. But yeah, what a fantastic opening day at Europa Park. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, I make loads of other theme park vlogs, especially from the UK at Fort Park, Alton Towers, so be sure to subscribe. My name is Jack Silkstone. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.